you have your racket. Then you have your hand, you have five fingers. Then you have your thumb and your pointing finger here. The racket has to be positioned within this foul. Okay, so if I have the frame of the racket follows down, then it's something like this here. Then I make sure that I have space in here with my hand. And I have this kind of feeling that I can do this with the racket. So it's very relaxed. If I look at my fingers, then my pointing fingers is the one above that's made like a hook around the grip. Then I have my thumb, that's the next one, that's connected to this uh, middle finger, sorry. Um, and this is more or less like making a circle like this, so they are touching each other. So that means that that part of my thumb is touching that part of my middle finger. Okay, and then I have my the last two fingers that's a little bit close connected here. The next thing I look at, at is that my grip is out in the hand, so that means that the end of the grip is close to this nut on my hand. So that means the opposite would be that it's in here, then it's hidden, and then it looks like this. Okay, so from the other side, I push it out so it's like there's space in this part also. Okay, what I want to achieve with this grip is I want to achieve that there's an angle between my underarm and the racket. If I put the racket in, then I get this one here. I want to use rotation because rotation is more powerful compared to this movement here. This is bigger muscles. Okay, so that also means that my wrist has to be in neutral position. It's not bend it one way or the other way. The reason why I want it to be neutral is also because I want the muscles to be relaxed. If I do a, mus uh, do a movement like this, then I have already activated some muscles in my underarm. That's not what I want. Okay, so this was the grip.